Yo, what's up, sexy Sam on the squad? We got Sir Ket today. Why am I playing Sir Ket, you might ask? Well, honestly, oh my god, my microphone almost smashed my keyboard. I just saved all of your ears. Honestly, I'm playing Sir Ket because I want to. And I don't know really what made me want to. I just want to. Can I fight him level 3? Let's think about this logic. Logic tells me no. Because he gets a really big cooldown reset on his 1. So, I'm not going to do it. Logic wins this time. Uh, is he invading me? No, he's not. Okay, he cleared really slow. I might need a Golden Blade, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, I was definitely in the air. Damn, he started Warrior's Blessing and Defense, bro. God damn. I thought I was being a beta male. Fuck out of here, bro. Fuck out of here, bro. You ain't killing me with your zero power start. At least I have ten. At least I have ten. Good try, pretty boy. Six Warriors Blessing stacks. Pretty good. You get extra stacks for killing them. Enemy God. A kill or an assist on an enemy God is an extra three stacks. What do you do? Alright, so he's probably going to ult this. Um, I don't care because, like I said, he has no power, so... I don't think he kills me ever here. Ult for ult is pretty good for me here. Considering the fact that I still have blue buff on and he doesn't, you know? Ouch. I don't like how easy it is for him to poke me though, that's really annoying. It's his Warrior's Blessing stacks up so much faster than mine. I don't want to fight that, I just wanted to poke a little bit. Surprised he's holding his 2 so long, honestly. This this match is definitely a match of, of chess. Like, this is not your normal smite match, for sure. If he ults, I do have Aegis. Hmm. Oh, I had- I didn't have ult for another three seconds. Okay, here's the thing. I have to predict either his blink or his ult. There we go. And then I Aegis this one, this section of it. So that he still teleports to me and then I can kill him like that. That was so, that was literally perfect. So basically what I did. You, I, I, what I could have done is I could have Aegis his ult completely. But I knew if I Aegis his ult completely then he wouldn't have teleported to me, right? And I needed him to get next to me so I could ult him. So what I did was I let him hit all four hits on me, and then I Aegis the damage of his ult, pretty much, like the main majority of his damage. Um, and then, 
because he was next to me, because I let him hit me, I was able to ult him and CC him with my ult and my two combo. So he couldn't get anything off. And we're looking at some dubskis. Very, very positive. Alright, really good trade there for me. Really good trade for me. Shoot the one. Um. Alright, I'm one hit away on him from Stack the Warrior's Blessing, which is going to make me a little bit more tanky. Slightly more tanky. Get this red buff down. I'm going to go Transcendence Heartseeker. This game, by the way. I feel like I might need it. Oh, uh, fun fact, by the way. Uh, if I ult him while he's ulting, his ult doesn't hit me. <laughs> As seen. Alright, he has no abilities that go through walls, right? So... Imagine missing that dude. I can't believe I missed that. It's really bad. He's got that breastplate, so he's looking to fight. I can actually back for finished trans. He's gonna probably poke me here. Or try to. Mm. I'm gonna play passive. I could honestly probably kill him, but it would it would trade my life and I don't wanna do that. Instead I'm going to just let him be the aggressor here and clear waves like a little old me, you know? Alright, let's grab another point in that ultimate that does true damage. Pretty far ahead of him, actually. Not bad. Not bad. I've been playing more Sir Cat recently. In the jungle. I don't think she's very good. Her 100 to 0 potential is not the best. They nerfed her damage a little bit. Um, because she was doing too much damage as the support role. But what they didn't realize was that nerfing her damage because she's too good at support also means she can no longer 100 to 0. In her intended role, which is jungle. <laughs> so, a little bit weird. We'll probably alt here, if I had to guess. And I don't really care. He, I don't think he kills me here, so. I'm gonna hold the Aegis. No point in using it if I don't need it. Push out that wave a little bit and then get this red buff just to make sure that he cannot. And I assume these are down. Yeah. I should probably go into like a breastplate here. I shouldn't be greedy with it. Like, cause it... here's the thing. I want to go Heartseeker or Jotuns or something. But I know for a fact if I do that, there's potential for me to just throw because I take too much damage. And this is not really a matchup I can afford to do that. If I was like Amaterasu or like any warrior, then sure, I, I would do it because memes, but. Oh, hey. Just pull him out of his little buff. I don't really care that they're doing damage to me. Alright. Very, very nice. He was greedy going for that wave. He thought I would have just done blue. But, I mean, if I can get a kill and do blue, why wouldn't I do that? And for the time being, also, I will keep picking up blue buff. 
up, gamer? For the time being, I'll keep picking up blue buff because I really do like the cooldown. Pretty important. Plus, I don't really need the damage, you know. I, I'm not... I don't plan on doing tons of damage. Let's see... I didn't buy anything yet, but I guess I do have almost 2k ahead of him, so... Ouch. Perfect. Sir Cat's actually really good against Tsukuyomi, I feel like. I know people are going to be like, oh my god, he lost this matchup or he played this bad in this matchup. But I actually think Sir Cat kind of dominates Tsukuyomi in a one on one territory. Because, like, the only thing that makes Tsukuyomi good is the fact that he can stun you out and, like, frag you, poke you out from a distance, and then, like, all in you with his ult and his stun. But he, uh, he can't all in me with this stun, because if he does, I just two that bitch. Like so. I uh, wasn't able to get the last auto on him there. The auto would have done, what is it, 20% of his max HP. That, more than likely, with the damage paired with the auto attack, it probably would have killed him. But I wasn't able to get it. He weaved through the minions good enough. Well played, well played. Next item, I'm thinking Heartseeker. It honestly could be Arendite, because Arendite is kind of stupidly strong on Circuit. Like, instead of two, um, like, instead of your combo being, like, two, one alt, and then landing the auto, you get Arendite, and then your combo becomes two alt, one auto. And then your one does a lot of damage, your auto procs your, uh, your passive, which also procs Arendite, which is very explosive. Very explosive. I can pretty much afford it. If he ults me, I'm chilling because I have Aegis if I need it. In case you're wondering why I'm able to be so aggressive right now. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Beads down, we'll grab the Arendite here, which should be 2600, and it is. Thank god I'm not stupid. God, imagine being a jungler main in Conquest and not knowing how much Arendite cost. Hmm. I have max cooldown now, by the way. 10%, 20%, 10%, so I can stop picking up red buffs, or blue buffs, and start picking up red buffs. Or speed buffs. But I kind of want the red buff, as you can see, by the fact that I'm not doing it right now because I want to wait to pick it up. My oh, man's on that D shit. Alright, here we go. Well. Honestly. What did the one do there? I only hit I only hit a single hit of the one, that's why. Yeah, I only hit the one like one tick of the one instead of all three ticks. That'll do it. I'm not getting Phoenix here, by the way. Alt me? Not alting me. Can't plan a murder without good intel. Can't plan a murder without good intel. I feel like that's not the message you should be sending. 
but it's true. <laughs> Not that I would know, of course. I wouldn't know. I just assume it's true. I feel like it'd be... I feel like it'd be tough to kill someone if you don't know where they are ever. But I could be wrong. Yoink. Let's do Bull Demon. Can I ult Bull Demon? I cannot. Next item... He's got no healing. So it doesn't need to be beat stick. I already have max cooldown. I guess it's just pen, right? Yeah, when he ulted, I was like, okay. <coughs> he ulted, I knew he was dead. <laughs> I think he knew he was dead too. He saw the thorns and was like, fuck. I'm pretty tanky for someone that's not building tank. But I guess I have War or Warrior's Blessing and Breastplate. I don't know. Get out of here, dude. Will the Witchblade play? I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. Oh, I could go Heartseeker, actually. Not percent pen, though. Like, 20% pen from Atalanta's or, or Titan's Bane, I feel like, is really strong here. But he does have 2100 HP. I could just wait for Heartseeker. I'll just wait for Heartseeker. We'll wait for the Heart Seeker. It gives you base pen. Oh no, it doesn't. It gets ten percent pen. I didn't know it gave ten percent. I thought it was. I thought I gave fifteen pen, not ten percent pen. <clears throat> uh, I'll pick up red. Ah. Now that he's going that, I'll switch out my uh, my Warrior's Blessing for a Titan's Bane. And we will have max cooldown and a lot of pen and a lot of power too because I'm already at 300. I'm about to break the power cap again. I feel like I do this shit almost every, almost every time. Ooh. Alright, his alt is down, his blink is down, uh, his beads are down, everything is down, everything is looking A-OK. -okay. Instead of going for that last item, that last Titan Bane uh, item, I'm going to grab this 500 pot, it's going to boost me up an extra 50 power, and I will be good to just take that Titan down with ease. All right, GG, bro. GG. Dude, I, I was playing Sir Cat yesterday um, in Conquest. And I lost the game, but I went 20 and 8 or something. Uh, I had an alt that spread four times and got me a quadra kill and won a team fight after they had just gotten fire. It was kind of huge. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh.